This is Dave Sundstrom. Welcome to another video celebrating entertainment from decades gone by. You know, the good stuff. We have a new part of the live stream that I'm calling a few of my favorite things. So uh, cue up the sound of music and uh, I'm going to ask you a few of your favorite things. So first question for you, Jill. What is your favorite nostalgic television show and why? Well, it is The Love Boat. <laughs> <laughs> well, then why? But, you know, it just, it just, for a child watching, it was just so glamorous and so like, wow, you know, like I can't believe people do this and I want to do this too. And I just, it, it was just so awe-inspiring. Yeah. And it like it was really like no other show out there. So I really, it really took you on a cruise, even though most of it was in the soundstage. Yeah. It took you on a cruise, and you got to. And as a kid, you know, before you really had boyfriends and stuff, you got to experience love and romance, and and it was just. I mean, it just covered all bases, and yeah. it was just, it was just magical. It was absolutely magical. Love it. Okay, favorite actor or actress from a TV show. Mary Tyler Moore. I, to this day, I love that show. It is just the pinnacle of the 70s. You know, and if you go back and you watch it now and you hear the topics they talk about and how they address them, it's just, I mean, it's its like somebody took a chunk out of the 70s and that happens to be my favorite decade and just help froze it in time, Yeah. you know? And it's, um, so she was, as she was, I don't see, I, that was actually my very close second when I was deciding what to tell you. Um, every person on that cast was actually amazing so so you're it, talking about the mary tyler moore show oh yeah yes. uh, where lou grand i love that you got oh that girl's got spunk yeah, oh yeah spunk. right oh my god that interview was awesome and of course gavin mcleod was murray who went yeah. to the love boat right yeah yeah and do you remember i remember watching this with my folks and for some reason they didn't appreciate this episode I remember them, uh, but I remember thinking it was pretty darn funny. Do you remember the one where she's laughing at the funeral of the clown? I do, the peanut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, so funny. Good stuff. I do have to say, though, that I think I might be a bigger Mary Tyler Moore fan from the, I love the Dick Van Dyke show. DVD yep. is just. Yep. That was a great one, too. The best. Absolutely. And Mary, so just. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all just, right. Uh, was there a particular TV program that brought your whole family together? Um, yes. Happy Days and Laverne and Shirley. Nice. Everyone came to watch that. And I think it was great because that's the era of my parents, yeah. you know, where they're growing up. So we would watch it and they would actually tell how, you know, things were really like, you know, and of course you don't love the Fonz. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So easily, easily. That, happens. that actually happens these days in our home where we sit down and watch the Goldbergs on Wednesday night because it's all about the 80s and I'll, I'll correct a lot of things. They, yeah. they, get, yeah. they get a lot of things right, but they get a lot of things wrong too. Yeah, TV. Because yeah. <laughs> the people that wrote it probably weren't alive. They right. Dining they really, I think the Goldbergs is the equivalent of happy days, you know? Yeah. This decade, this generation's happy days and that it's been on for nine seasons now. It's a TV kind of glossed over version of what the 80s were really yeah. like. Yeah, 80s are awesome. Yeah, they were awesome. They were incredible. All right. What is your most vivid television memory? Well, the, the best thing I can tell you is it wasn't exactly television. Well, a mm -hmm. show, but it was more of an experiencing. Like, I mean, I, I, I mean, I could just because of your channel, I totally thought back to so many memories, you know, and like Saturday morning. You know, my favorites were the Sid and Marty Croft series, right? The Sigmund and the Sea Monsters and HR and Lidsville and all that. And it just, it, it's just insane, nonsensical happiness that really had no, you know, message, you know, or no, yeah. just, it was just there. I, was I love that memory that you have there. I mean, I was one of those kids that I would ask my dad if I could take his alarm clock. He used an alarm clock to get up to go to work on you know, weekdays and I would, there was the only alarm clock in the house. We'd unplug it. I'd put it in my bedroom, set up for out here in Utah. Cartoons started at 6 a.m. 
set it for 6 a.m. Sometimes I got up, sometimes I didn't, but I always set it so that I could, you know, get in a solid four to five hours of cartoon with oh. with my. Now, did you have a cereal that you ate along with? I, I was always, if I could, if we had Lucky Charms, that was the go-to cereal. I was more of a Frosted Flakes or a um, Count Chocula kind of girl. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. My wife was Cocoa Pebbles, and they're in oh. Count Chocula, similar in yeah. that you had this nice chocolatey milk kind of thing to drink afterwards. Yep, yeah. yep. It was absolutely awesome. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Okay, let's see. Do we have any more? Yes. When you're not watching nostalgic TV, you're whipping up something incredible. <laughs> what do you like to do most? You know, I'm the biggest nerd. I read vintage cookbooks, like people mm. read novels. I just do. I mean, I get, I'm, I'm very lucky. I, I find them all the time. And also my audience sends me vin their own vintage cookbooks as gifts all the time. And I'm just, it's such an honor. And I just sit down and I make my, um, my trademark martini, which I'm not drinking too much of tonight because I'm sick. <laughs> but, and I read cookbooks and then I start in a kind of inspires, you know, episodes or just for just my education. And then it's like, finally, it's like, okay, well, I wonder what the history behind that is. And then off I go to learn history. So that's, that's just my jam. That's awesome. That is awesome. I really, really appreciate your willingness to hang out with me. This has been so much fun. Thank you so much for inviting me on. I had an absolute blast. Your, your audience is awesome. They are incredible. So again, why don't you just tell folks who you are, what you do, and give them just a little bit of taste of of what you're doing sure i am right here on youtube um under yester kitchen which is my name right now not jill just yester kitchen and i cook from the 30s to the 80s and i tell all the stories behind the recipes i'm a culinary storyteller and i just kind of do what dave does but instead of celebrating tv of the past i celebrate food of the past so it's, chances are you're going to remember a lot of the dishes i made and you had a lot of them growing up i'd Thank encourage you. folks to go over and check out jill's channel 